Hi there and welcome to another exciting session of learning provided by Quicksoft. You can contact us for any training needs or doubts you have by sending your email at contact at quicksoft.com. In today's session, we are going to show you another very useful feature of Oracle PM called Account Monitor. As an accountant, there are always few key accounts which you want to track regularly. You run reports or inquire balances periodically to ensure that you are always on top of those accounts. Account Monitor does exactly the same job for you but automatically. You define the list of accounts you want to monitor and also the kind of changes you are interested in those accounts and Account Monitor will track the accounts based on your definition and will show you accounts which pass your definition automatically. Okay, let's start. When you go to General Ledger Accounting Dashboard, Account Monitor is the first window which is shown to you. By default it comes as blank and you are supposed to define which are the accounts which you want to monitor. Let us start defining some accounts for monitoring. I go to view, account group, create. Give a name for the accounts which you want to monitor. Display an account monitor, set as default, accounting period, comparison prior year, same period. X, private or public, private means you, you can only see it, public means everybody else can see this accounts and they want to, they want to use it. Now I go to define my accounts. Account, ledger name, my ledger, company. Company code, line of business as required. Pick the account code which you want to use. In my case, I wanted clearing account or center. We'll just, we'll just do a very very simple setup for a start, and that's already you understand it clearly. And we can do the variations. Intercompany, same, and here this is very important field called change. When this should trigger, see all the options which are there. Comparison is current accounting period and prior accounting period in this case. And when should it appear? If it is changes, decrease less by amount, increase, percentage, whatever you can give. And for a start, we can we can say always display. Yeah, just do this and click on save. And close. You will notice in in this window, account monitor previously it was coming blank. Now this account is coming automatically over there. Yeah, I'll choose a period where I have data. I think I have in August. August 18, and you see the data is already appearing there. There is no comparison but just showing two same periods. So I can click on these amounts as you see this is a hyperlink. I can click on these amounts and this will bring me to a search window to show me based on the criteria I have given which are the journals which created this data. I can click on this period transaction and show me all the journals which affected those balances. You can even go further, click on this, it will bring me to the journal entry screen. It's the read only information I can only see, I cannot change anything. So I cancel to come back to my original screen. Click on done, done, and I'm back to my account monitor screen. Now I can go and define some more. See, it shows currently this one defined. I can go and create one more. City Bank all accounts okay the rest everything is same I go to plug added record give a name choose your ledger 
company. Let me just do a variation. I just say all company values. Line of business. Let's say all account. I want to manage this one 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 zero six. Cost center. I say all product. I say all. I see. I say. All intercom, always display. So what I'm saying is, doesn't matter in this as long as the ledger is this, as and the account is this, doesn't matter what are other segments. Show me this account. That means I want to focus on this account. Doesn't matter which legal entity or company or a balancing segment transaction has happened. Let's see. Let's see what happened in this case. I just save and close. Now by default it will always show this clearing account, but I can always choose what I want to see. So this we have defined this one as a set as default. So I will go and say this one and say City Bank all accounts. Now you notice information is very much similar. Let me choose August 18 period. I know there's some data in August 18. Somebody is not showing the data. Now let me inquire the journals. Let me just go to manage journals and see which account has data. Post to journals. Look at this account. It's one one zero one five. Actually, I have debited and credited the same account here, so there's no, no wonder there's no data for that account. Okay, now what we can do is, for our example, say we can just let me just make a small change. I go to manage. Let's say I want to manage this account. Just for example, say I just change this to five. And I say cop save and close. Done. Now you can see in my city bank there should be some data in August. account as data in August. Yes. And city bank account group. In August. So again, no data. Now, if you look at the number, it looks like there's no data, but let's drill down to see whether it's actually zero or somehow because of different journal entry, it has become zero. Let's click on it. Okay. Oh, wow. So we notice there are two different companies in our exact definition for account group. We said doesn't matter which entity. So one entity has debit, other entity has credit. So that's where the balance and, and result is zero. So definition was correct, but because of different type of journals, entry is correct. So zero is correct balance. What you can do, you can always click on wherever you see the hyperlink. It will show you all the possible values which are under that and will give you the balances for those. This helps you understand the breakup. For example, so certain account you want to see how, how this balance are derived. Then you can click on that particular link and that will give you all the breakdown of those transactions. Yeah. So this way you can define many account groups and then you can choose whichever account group you want to see. It will show you all the breakup of all the transactions which has happened in that account and what is the reason of the change in that particular value. I don't have multi uh, 
period value here that's why i'm not able to show you the more interesting factor which is if you go to any definition you can actually put comparison and in comparison you can say change what reason decrease by so much amount increase by so much percentage or amount and you can also put some threshold yeah and then it will compare between that current period quarter or year with the for all these values and then you can see whether it there's any difference in those yeah. i hope it gave you good overview of how to define this account monitor and then you can play around with this using this uh, simple process which i showed you and then get some more clarity about this thank you very much for your time thank you once again for watching this video and please remember to subscribe to our channel so that you can get notification for all the future videos which will be posting very frequently